Well, we all have a lot of excuses. Maybe it's too hot, it's too cold. You don't have the right equipment to get enough exercise. We don't have an and the amount of time to do it. Uh, but getting your entire body in shape doesn't take lots of time or money. And fitness model and expert Nadine Dumas is here to show us how to get a complete workout quickly with a Tabata circuit. So I've heard about Tabata, it's very mm -hmm. popular. It I haven't actually tried it. So what is it for people who aren't familiar? So what it is is a series of exercises. And normally you'll stick with one exercise and you're gonna do it for eight rounds. Right. And it's only gonna last for four minutes. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working out for 20 seconds, resting for 10, yes. working out for 20. You're going to do that for eight times. Okay, so essentially you can get a workout done in less than half an hour. Yes. Okay, yeah. and this is how you like to work out? Um, I've done a lot of it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you incorporate it into an overall routine. I do. And, you know, when there's days that I'm at home, especially for the moms when you're, you can't leave the house mm -hmm. or for people that are really busy with work, and just need something quick to do first thing in the morning before they, they head out and work their 10, 12 hours. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So you're gonna show us how this works and what would you start with? What body part? Um, so what I would do, especially for women, we're always concerned with the lower half. Mm -hmm. So I would do anything from a simple squat or um, an alternating lunge. Okay. An alternating lunge is actually really good for women to start with. Yeah. And what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna step forward, lunge, and step back, step forward, and lunge okay. and step back. Now, take your cell phone or take a stopwatch, set it in front of you, do it for the 20 seconds, stand there, rest for 10 seconds, it's gonna go by very fast, yes. and continue again. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to hit your reps every single time. So let's say that when you are doing your lunges, yeah. you can get 12 in in 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. So and you're, you're doing rest. that for four minutes. You're doing it for four minutes, so you're doing it eight times. Now you want to try and hit those 12 reps every single time Okay. when you are doing it. Okay, so even when you're getting tired. And you'll start yes. to feel, feel that burn in the build you up will. to four minutes. You will, and the other thing that you're trying to do is you're trying to stay to that rep range, and that's what's going to make it a lot harder, especially when you are going for eight rounds. Okay, so you've got a yes. cardio component there too because your you heart do. rate's going up. Yes. Okay, so where, where would you go from lunges? Um, from lunges, I would probably go into squats just because for women, we want to hit the legs, we want to hit the bum area. Yes. Okay, so you're going to squat down all the way back up, doing this for 20 seconds. Okay, and if yeah. that's easy for a more advanced option, would you add some kind of weight or a jump or any kind of impact? Yes, yeah. so you can do any type of jumping. You can even put a resistance band around the knees yeah. or just below the knees, or you can set some weights on your shoulders as you're squatting. Okay, and that's very yeah. little cost too, to add a band or just a couple of dumbbells. Yeah, and it's not, you don't have to leave the house. You can just do it in the comfort of your own home, and it's only gonna take 16, 20 minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. so after the squat, where would we go from there? You start lower body, um, and then following that. I would probably move on to the arms, mm -hmm. so you can concentrate a little bit in the biceps, the chest, the shoulders, um, or the back. One really good one, and one that a lot of people don't overly like, are just a simple push-up. I know. It's, it's my favorite. <laughs> we love the push-up, but there's yes. different variations too. So if you don't feel strong enough, you can go from the knees. Yeah, there are. And if you want, you can start with the knees, uh, with your knees on the ground, mm -hmm. and pushing all the way up. If you want to try and challenge yourself, go onto your toes. Yes. Just to make it a little bit harder. Okay. And uh, let's get a core exercise in here because okay. we just have a few seconds left to go. So sure. what would you do for core? So. For core, you're just going to do your simple crunch, mm -hmm. okay? The one thing you want to make sure you're not doing is just crunching your chin yes. down. You want to bring that chin up to the roof and up and down. Okay, and engage the core from there. Engage the core, yeah. Great, 16 minutes, and do you find that by the end of that, you've got a sweat going on, and is you that do. enough? It is. Okay. Yeah, and I would recommend about three times a week yeah. to do it, especially if you are going to be doing it at home, if you are going to be in the gym, just incorporate it at the end of your lift. Okay, terrific. Mm -hmm. And you can do that watching breakfast television. Yes, you because can. Because we have another 40 minutes left in the show. You could actually do it two times over. <laughs> yeah, Thank you so much. Where can people find you? At NadineDumasLiveFit.com. Terrific. We're going to put up links on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. I'm tired just watching part of that workout, Dave. <laughs>